Can I help you? How'd you know I was here? I disabled your alarm. Maybe, but this place has all sorts of eyes and ears. <laughs> so, you want to play with slugs, huh? Destroy the place! if you just tell us what you want. I want what's mine. Thought a little soap might help clean up this mess. There's nowhere to run, so now might be the time to tell us why Black sent you before my friend gets trigger happy. Black? I don't work with that slug turd. I work alone. You can't hide it forever. Wait! Hide what? Who are you? I want my share of that treasure. Treasure? <laughs> and I promise you, I'll get it. Does anyone know who that was? I'm still going with one of Black's lackeys. I don't know. No real reason to lie about that. And she wasn't using ghoul slugs. But what treasure could she be talking about? Obviously, she was after the legendary Shane treasure. Well, if it's so legendary, how come I've never heard of it? This wouldn't be the first time your dad kept something secret from you. Just think, you could have a vast fortune hidden somewhere. You could be rich! Rich? Rich? I don't know. My dad talked about caches of stuff hidden around Slugterra, things I'll need someday, but I think it would have said something about a fortune. Some of it could be hidden here, right under our noses. <sighs> hmm. More secrets, huh? Okay, but I'm not sure how or even where. Allow me. Haven't seen one of these in ages. 
The thing's been coated with smolten. Only way we're getting this baby open is with a forge smelter slug. Oh, we don't have one of those! Well, where can we find one? Oh, we would have to travel to the deepest regions of the magma caverns. It's way too dangerous. It's basically all molten lava. And don't forget the magma monsters. And the ferocious lava bats that will swoop down and gorge themselves on my sweltering brains. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. Let's load up, gang. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> So, Eli, you don't find it at all ridiculous that your dad not only expected you to find that chest without instructions, but he didn't even leave you a way to open it if you found it? Uh, my dad always liked me to figure things out for myself. And you're cool with this? It doesn't matter whether or not I'm cool with it. It's just the way it is. supposed to cross an ocean of lava. Never fear. Pronto the Magnificent shall drain the sea of fire now! <coughs> I, uh, I mean, now! Otto, how did you... Magnificent? Eh? Uh, also, the lava tide goes in and out every hour on the hour like clockwork. Uh, so, if we are to do this ridiculous crazy thing and get ourselves some sweet, sweet treasure, we must embark immediately. The drowning in fire clock is already ticking. Fifty-nine minutes! Oh, What is it, Eli? I thought I saw... Nothing. I just can't stop wondering who that thief was and how she could have known about this chest. Whoever she was, she couldn't possibly be dumb enough to come here. We own that level of dumbness. the magma caverns is slow and steady. But didn't you say we had to hurry? Might want to keep it down, too. Don't want to wake any magma monsters. <laughs> Only a fool would be afraid of a silly little... We'll, uh, <laughs> have to cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> yeah. We must hurry before the lava tide comes back in. Remember, slow and steady. C 
Seriously, it's almost like he expected you to go on this crazy mission. Fire Geyser! You think? Fire Geysers give a warning hiss before the blast, so there shouldn't be a big problem if we go... Slow and steady, yeah, yeah, we got it. Uh oh. Go, go, go! We made it! Behold, the fabled Forge Smelter Chamber! Well, let's find one quick and get out of here. Huh? Or you can just give me that chest. Since I've got the only key. You think that's the only slug in this cavern? The only one you're gonna find. I just unleashed a frost crawler and scared off all the others. Oh, it'll be hours before they return! But the lava tide will be back a whole lot sooner. So, you gonna give me my share of that treasure? Or are we all gonna boil? She's got nerve. I'll give her that. Look, I don't know who you are or why you think you have dibs on anything in that chest. My name's Dana Poor, and if that doesn't ring a bell, perhaps this will. You recognize that man with your dad? Yeah, that's Tom... Poor. He's your father, isn't he? My dad talked about him all the time. They were like best friends. Until he betrayed my dad. Betrayed Will Shane? Huh. Your dad obviously didn't tell you the whole story. Ooh, there's a shocker. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, my dad's been known to leave out a detail or two. Well, my dad didn't. He was Will Shane's recon man, and he was the best there was at getting information. And all of that valuable info went to Will Shane. This helped him stay one step ahead of the bad guys. They were a great team. But my dad knew something wasn't right about Will Shane. He would disappear for days at a time and never have an explanation for where he went. Will Shane was keeping a lot of secrets. So, my dad decided to start watching your father. He was hiding treasure, treasure he promised to share with my dad. But that wasn't the worst of it. Will Shane was working with the enemy. My dad would never work for Black. Not Black. Even worse, the Shadow Clan. When my father confronted him about this, Will denied everything, except the treasure part. So my father became angry and challenged your dad to a duel. And we all know what happens when you challenge Will Shane to a duel. Which is why you're gonna give me his cut. Huh? Dana, I can't believe my father would do that. But I also can't always explain or understand his actions. Uh, Proto finds this all very moving, but he would also like to remind you that the lava tide will return soon. <laughs> so, uh... I don't care about gold. If that's all you're after, I'll give you a share. If you give us a slug so we can get out of here. Uh, yes, yes! Uh, get out of here! <laughs> no! We open it here, right now. And there's little time to argue, so let's get to it. Fine. It's just a bunch of junk. What is all this? You're trying to scam me? Worthless, trash, junk. Told you there was no fortune. Though I was hoping there would be too. Maybe I can melt this thing down for something. The Shadow Clan. They're coming. Ugh. Shadow Clan, huh? How'd they get here so fast? Who cares? Let's make them leave. <laughs> 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 
The lava tide is coming in! Get her out of here! Come on, Eli! I'm coming! Go big, Burpee! <laughs> move. Way to level up, little guy. No slow and steady this time. Well, hello. Welcome back. These guys are unstoppable! <laughs> so, uh, remember what I said about crossing that bridge when we come to it? Me to put this on? Did you see what happened to Dana? <laughs> Please don't fry my brain. It belongs to us. Are you talking to me? Who are you that you can withstand the power of the Shadow Talker? The Shadow Talker? The circlet on your brow. It allows communication between the wearer and the Shadow Clan. But not all can survive its mind-bending force. So again, we inquire. Who are you? you? Uh, I'm Eli Shane. Uh, uh, my father was Will Shane. Uh, so Shane. Father could not handle the Shadow Talker's full strength, and it appears you 
aren't ready to wear it just yet, but we will allow you to keep it for the day when you are ready. Now, remove it before it takes your mind. Wait! Who are you people? What do you want? The same thing all Shanes want, including your father. And so, we will meet again. Wait! What did my father want? <sighs> Eli! Dude! <sighs> How did you escape the Shadow Clan? I'm still trying to figure out what happened myself. They just... left. You know, it might be a lot easier if we figure it out together. Huh? Well, to start with, this thing allowed me to talk to them. No way! It did what? I put it on just like Dana and... Wait, where is Dana? No clue. I turned back to check on her, and she was just... gone. For now, I have a feeling we'll see her again. My dad kept all these things hidden for a reason. That was his treasure. And I don't think Dana Poor is done hunting for what she thinks is hers. The old stories tell of a distant shore, unreachable by normal means. A world of strange magic and secret knowledge, and riches beyond belief. A cavern ablaze with fire, walls stretching into the infinite. The burning world, lit by the lantern at the heart of creation. Despite what you've been told, these tales are not legends. The world above is real. And after years of searching, I, Garivel have found the way. If fame and fortune interest any of you, I shall lead you to it. We will assemble at the Monarch Inn tomorrow, nine sharp. And then we make history. He's talking about the surface, Burpee. This can't be good. Morning, Eli. Tricks. I, I was just, uh, I didn't expect you to be up. Never went to bed. Your reign of terror is almost over, Trixie. And finishing blow. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Another round. You're on. And where are you headed on this fine morning? Me? Oh, yeah, I just had an, uh, errand run. An errand, huh? Wouldn't have anything to do with... This? Uh, come on, Trix, uh, give it back. New World Wow. Garvel promises fame and fortune with Burning World Expedition. Finishing blow. What? Oh, come on! This isn't where you're going, is it? Maybe. Who cares? You should, for one. The Burning World is just a myth, a dumb kid's story. Think about it. If there was really a world above, why haven't we seen any people from there? Uh, I'll admit, it does sound a little fishy. So don't waste your time. Ravel's been roping clueless slingers into these dead-end expeditions for years. <gasps> Car Ravel is launching a new expedition! Has anyone else seen this? <laughs> a whole world above Slug Terra. <gasps> Imagine. No slugs, no mechs, <gasps> no molenoids. Oh, I'm imagining it. And the gold. Oh, there will be gold, of course. We must go and hear this Ravel out for exploration. 
Uh, I don't know, Pronto. I, I was gonna go alone. If this guy is taking advantage of people, I should uh, probably check him out. You know, for justice. Oh, please! Please, please, please! Well, if we're going on official Shane Gang business, East Rift does have the best chocolate root beer floats this side of anywhere. Then it is settled! We will all gold! Uh, I, I mean go. Great! Glad to have the help. So much for keeping this on the down low. <laughs> This is definitely not worth the root beer. Yeah, you see the kind of people God's stories attract, Eli? Charming. Uh, 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 four extra large floaters, please. And whatever my friends want. <gasps> Watch yourself, more annoyed. <laughs> Eli. That's Andre Geyser. Who? World-class adventurer. Pretty famous, too. I wonder what a real explorer like that is doing here. Thank you all for coming. As many of you know, the burning world has been my obsession since I was a boy. And I recognize many of my previous expeditions were seen as disappointments to those involved. This, however, will be different. He hasn't taken his hands off that book since he came out. We need to get a look at it. The world above offers more than fame and fortune. Take their moon, for example. A planetary body of vast proportions orbiting literally millions of miles above their heads. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. People can't be taking this seriously. You got a problem, Curly? Nope, uh, we're fine. Sorry. No problems here. Isn't that right, Trix? My only problem is that you're all buying this. He's taking advantage of you. Easy, guys. There's no need for trouble here. Only an idiot would be part of a bogus expedition. Are you calling me an idiot? No! Sounds like you're calling yourself an idiot. Trix, stop helping. You just had to say something. I thought we were here on official business. I just wanted to help these people. Burpee! No! No, no stop it! You're ruining everything! Now, more annoyed. Everybody, stop! Hey, let's go. An inferno slug? Only one person has such a specimen. Don't you know who this is? Uh, hi, I'm Eli Shane. Of course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> oh, this is excellent. Just excellent. Oh, with a Shane on board, this expedition cannot fail. Um, newsflash, Eli's not joining your expedition. Uh, listen, guys, uh, about that. Uh... Oh, you can't be serious. These are the guys shooting at us. It's not that simple. Actually, it is. Either you're with reason and common sense, or you're with this guy. Then I'm with Gar. I'm joining the expedition. I don't think I heard you right, bro. 
I said I'm staying. You guys head back to base. I'll be home soon. Uh, try to get rid of them so you have a larger share of the riches. Well, Pronto won't be falling for that trick. I'm in. Sorry, Pronto. You're leaving too. I have to insist. I know you guys must think I'm crazy, but I have my reasons for this. You just need to trust me. We do trust you, Eli. We just wish you'd trust us. <sighs> Had to be done, Burpee. They can't find out about the surface, and we have to find out how Gar knows what he knows. They'll understand, right? You made the right choice, my boy. The very right choice. <laughs> The Shane brand is just what this expedition needs to bring it some legitimacy. Huh? Believe it or not, the promise of fame and fortune can sometimes attract a less than savory element. Really? I hadn't noticed. I need to speak to Gar in private. Yeah, excuse me a moment, won't you, Eli? A Shane? I was supposed to be the face of the expedition, remember? Don't worry, you'll still get your payday, Andre. In the meantime, a little class isn't going to kill us. Eli, let's have a chat. I just don't get it. Why would Eli join Gar's expedition? Obviously, for the vast riches that await him. Nah, Eli's never cared about money. There's something else going on here. I just wish he'd confide in us. Eli's kept secrets before, but he's never let them stop us from being a team. Moss extract. <laughs> my own concoction. From my time among the Knoll tribes of Xanadu Basin. <laughs> I'm no fool, Eli. I know what others think of me. Right now, if my name appeared in the history books, it would be as a failure. This is my last chance. It can't fail. And with you on board, oh, I'm certain it won't. And, uh, what makes you think I can help? I believe it was fate that brought you to me, Eli. The truth is, for all my work, I'm still a piece or two away from knowing how to reach the above world. With a Shane on board, I can secure the funding I need to get that final piece. Easy, Burpee. We just need to keep him talking. Did you say something, Eli? I said, um, how did you learn about the above world? I've been obsessed for years, and I'm not alone. The legend of the burning world is believed by many, and even in those who don't. Most of us wonder what else might be out there. Clues are all over if you know where to look. For instance? Stories passed down from one generation to the next. All too many include a mention of the burning world. And then, there is this, my greatest clue. You won't be able to read it, I'm sure. It's written in code. I can read this. It's our cipher. This is the Shane code. Maps, log entries. This tells how to use the drop. Uncle Jimmo. Jimmo? The Shane before your father? Uh, but that means, yes, of course, it's a Shane journal. Oh, that's the missing piece. The word Shane is a cipher, a keystone to the whole book. Eli, this is amazing. It changes everything. I've cracked the code. I can find the way up. Gar, no. What's in that book is secret for a reason. Then, then it's true. What's true is you need to give me that diary. Your coming to me was fate, Eli. I'm sure of that now. I will not be a failure. <laughs> help! I need help in here! The Shane! Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha! Car, listen to me! Don't do this! I owe you a debt, Eli. Every instruction, the precise method to reach the above world, is all in this book, along with all the glory I deserve. <laughs> After him! All my research is in that book! Yeah. Tell me!
follow the men. Grab whatever equipment they need. After we get that book back, we leave for the burning world! Finishing blow. Yeah. Eli, what's going on? Nothing. Go back to your game. You're still playing that? I refuse to let it beat me. I gotta win at least one game. Yeah, that's a heck of an arsenal for nothing, bro. I told you I'll handle it. I don't want you involved. It's Shane business. Yeah? And we're the Shane gang. I don't want you guys getting hurt, all right? You just stay here. There's still time for me to ride out and lead them away. Uh, I am not certain what you're talking about exactly, uh, but perhaps it is too late to leave us out of it. Drag us out here to chase a boy! You promised us treasure, Ravel! Fame! I am not a man to be trifled with, Andre! <laughs> not today! Listen to me, all of you! You want fame and fortune? Well, that Shane boy is the key! First man to bring him to me gets a triple share! Yeah! I think there's even more of them than before! Burpee, man the auto blasters! <laughs> We need to get you out of here. Eli! My dad once told me about an escape tunnel into town. If we hurry, we can get through before they reach us. Eli, we're not leaving. But you don't even know what you're fighting for. It doesn't matter. We're a team. We don't need to know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Any other ideas? This isn't gonna be easy to hear. All of you are gonna have questions. Unfortunately, now is not the time to answer them, so I'll just be quick. Remember all that stuff Gar was saying about a world above Slug Terra? <laughs> yeah, you mean that made up yarn he was spinning? Yeah, well, it's not made up. The world above is real. And it's my number one job as a Shane to keep it a secret. No way! You're joking, bro. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a joke. I'm asking you to take a lot on faith here, but you needed to know the truth. I don't buy it. It's a lot, I know. Eli, when I was a little girl, my mom used to tell me about the burning world every night before she tucked me in. You have to grow up. You can't keep believing in fairy tales. In this case, the fairy tale is real. This isn't just about Slug Terra. If Gar reaches the surface, both worlds will pay the price. Say you're right. How does Gar know all this? From this. It's my great uncle's. Based on the tiny look I got, every question I've ever had, every puzzle about my father and what came before me, the answer could be in here, including how to get topside. If Gar got his hands back on it, Eli, we can do this all day. Is this what you want, Gar? No! Cease fire! Cease fire! You might hit the book! Why take the diary when you can have me? Intriguing proposition. I think I'll take both. Fine. I'll come along. One condition. Leave my friends out of this. They aren't involved. There. Now you're being sensible. You don't need friends. At the end of the day, you're all alone. No, I told them I didn't want them involved. Then again... <laughs> they never seem to listen to me. Ah! One in a million dollars! You wanted me, now you got me! It's over, Eli! Get out of here, bro. I can handle myself. With the lava links at point-blank range? I don't think so. Let him go, Gar. You can have the book. No! Give it to me! Why? 
<laughs> it's not fair! I was so close! Nothing personal, kid. This was strictly business. Wait, it's not over. This is just a setback. They were right. This was nothing but a sham. It wasn't. I'll find another way. You just Go need... Go away, Gar. It's over. Wait, wait. Where are you going? You just need to get... I have a feeling Ravel won't be a problem anymore. Listen, guys. About what happened. It's cool, Eli. We get it. Shane secrets, right? I want to show you something. When I first met you, I said I came from a secret cavern, far away from here. Well, that wasn't entirely true. It was far away, but it wasn't a cavern. Then where did you grow up? Up there. In a hole? That hole is called the drop. It's how I got here. It leads to the place Gar wanted to reach. Uh, the burning world? I call it the surface, but yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. It's gonna be hard to wrap your head around this. Your entire universe pretty much just exploded. Yeah, so did my brain. I knew the Shanes kept secrets, but this one? Wow. The magic that exists here, the slugs, they would be lost forever if the surface world ever found out about Slug Terra. And if that happens, all the evil below us would have nothing to stop it. Slug Terra is the first and last line of defense. That's why our two worlds can never mix. You shouldn't have told us this, Eli. It's too big a secret. You should have kept it in the family. You guys are my family. And from now on, no more secrets. I'll tell you everything I know. Though, as far as being a Shane is concerned, that's not a whole lot. And you just torched the book that might have changed all that. There was nothing in that book we can't figure out for ourselves, including how to get back up there. That's the other thing. For now, at least, it was a one-way trip for me. So I guess we're stuck with you then. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I gotta say, you guys are taking this news pretty well. Oh, are you kidding me? I got about a million questions. Now, the sky thing, does it really go on forever? Yeah, are there monoids in this place? And if so, are they respected as superior life forms? Or just slightly superior? And what's up with this moon thing? What keeps it from falling down on top of us? Why don't I start at the beginning? We live on a planet called Earth. Earth? Planet? Equally superior? Take out Dr. Black's guards. Consider them taken. I'll wrap up lock and load before they can deliver that thing to Dr. Black. We have no idea what that thing does, Eli. Bro, we know it could be lunch. Somehow I doubt it. We can bring them down together. Dude, you had it backwards. 
Looks like we're the ones headed down! Okay? Yeah, thanks to Chiller. Chiller! <laughs> Eli, we gotta go. If Lock and Low get that lunchbox to black. I know. Burpee, we'll see you guys back at the hideout. <laughs> Long before us, no doubt. It's as if slugs have their own secret way of getting around Slugterra! A way they refuse to share with Pronto! Stopping them with glimmer and suds. Then allow me. Blow them away, Blaster. Just keep riding. I'll deal with Dr. Black. Why didn't you do that before? I didn't mean to blow it up. As long as Lock and Load won't be bringing it to Black. I think we can call it a win. Though I'd like to be celebrating with the rest of my slugs. Don't worry, Eli. Slugs always find their way back home. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure when we get there, we'll find Burpee and the others already at the clubhouse, kicking back and relaxing. through this cavern dozens of times on our way home before. But somehow it seems different. Hmm, indeed. Last time I was here, the town was fat and happy. So it was, stranger, until Munch showed up at least. Munch? Coming to town, big as a boulder and dumb as a sack of hammers, and ate us out of house and home. Why not just kick the bum out on his, you know, uh, bum? Cause no one beats Munch! You and your slugs challenging much to a duo? If you leave this cavern and never come back when I beat you, then yeah, I'll duel ya. Uh, Eli? And not now, Trixie, I'm trash talking. Ow! Trixie, what? You're slugs. You're a few short, remember? Uh, no problem. I'll lend you bludgeon. And Pronto will give you the honor of fighting with my Plancherorinkis. Ah! Yes. His nasty stank. No! <laughs> no ringers! You said you and your slugs gonna do a much, and that's what you're gonna do. That is what you agreed to, Eli. Yeah. After much beats Eli Shane, 
Munch will be king of the caverns! <laughs> Smart move there, Eli. Now I got a duel a guy with a bandolier of powered up bruisers, while Burpee and the others are probably back home, taking a bath. You guys really think you can get to the clubhouse and back with Burpee and the other slugs in time? We're already there, Eli. Wait! What Burpee and other slugs? Much already told you. No ringers! Burpee's my slug. He's just not here. Yet. No. Too bad, because we duel now! Time for the legendary Mullinoid stall. <clears throat> you certainly have enjoyed those succulent leg parts. I believe a mouth-watering dessert would fill those final corners of your impressive stomach. Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> Much get it? You tried a legendary Mullinoid stall? Well, it won't work. Much is smarter than he looks. Uh, and that is not saying much. Thanks, Pronto. But I agreed to this duel. Glimmer and Suds here may not pack as much firepower as Burpee or Jules, but we can fight them off until Cord and Tricks get back. No problem, right? Hey! Oh, uh, sorry. Proceed! Maybe it might be a little bit of a problem.
it, Eli! I think you're beginning to wear him out! <laughs> you're in the mud! Uh, yeah, and you're right where I want you. You got him, Glimmer. Give him all you got! <laughs> All right, that's what you've got. <laughs> hey, watch where you're going! Tell him that you were responsible? Huh. I imagine that we'll become ghoul chow. <gasps> Brother, I believe that Dame Fortune has indeed smiled upon us. Because I cannot imagine anything making Dr. Black happier than turning Eli Shane's best slug into a ghoul. <laughs> pair of boots. Just pursue those vermin or I'll give you the boot. Sometimes I can't believe we're related. is right, boys. Where do you lads think you're going? <laughs> Anywhere we want, mall cop. <laughs> oh, lost her big brother. <laughs> Not for long. See, that's a nice mecha beast. <laughs> If 
your slugs are useless, hit them with something else! Oh, and looking good! Yeah, My slugs aren't useless. I just gotta figure out the right way to use them. <laughs> when you mess with sun. that Dr. Black would be equally satisfied if we merely brought him the heads of the Shane Brat slugs. Dipped on the burning one. arrived and just in time I don't think we could have lasted another minute where's burpee sorry Eli but if they're not coming then <laughs> Maybe we can't win, but you guys ready to go down trying? Slugs? Uh, yeah. No way! You lasted this long with two floppers? No way much is fighting slugs who can do that! Much is out of here! Don't listen to him. You guys aren't floppers. You did me proud. I'm glad you guys are okay. But where were you? Um... They were obviously just goofing off. That's what slugs always do when you're not watching. Well, lucky for you, lazy slugs, Pronto was here to use his mighty brains and save the day. But what were you doing? Lazing around, goofing off. The Slugterra Institute of Technology welcomes you, sir. I'm thrilled to show you what your generous donation is funding. SIT has a long tradition of groundbreaking research, and here are two of our top scientists. Tobias here has made some fascinating inroads in the field of gravitation. Doesn't that lift your spirits? <laughs> hey, uh... <clears throat> Once I work the bugs out of my zero-G machine, Slug Terror will own the air. Catherine's ideas about Sonics are worth listening to. Sound is invisible, 
But its effects can be powerful. <laughs> what about me, Professor? Aren't you gonna show Mr. Moneybags my invention? Uh -huh. Dr. Kalowski has been researching artificial slug technology. Sir, don't pay any attention to Quentin's unfounded research. Let me show you more about my work. I thought we told you never to come back here, you and your crazy robots. Oh, you'll never get rid of me. Your anti-gravity machine will never amount to anything, Tobias! <laughs> <laughs> Nor will your pathetic sound amplifier. <laughs> now, let's talk about the future. My future, to be specific. We need help. As of this moment, all research will be directed by me. Eli Shane, we need you, now! The only science in this cavern is my science! Behold! My robo-slugs! Furia Cavern. Always wanted to see this place. Ah, science is vastly overrated. Pronto has no need for facts. I go with my gas. <laughs> and my gas tells me it's past my lunchtime. If these so-called scientists are such geniuses, where did they put all the restaurants? Where did they put all the people? And I don't see any slugs either. The slugs are all hiding. I'm Catherine McGregor. You're the one who called about the rogue scientist. Quinton's always been a little quirky. This time, he's crossed the line. Anyone try to stand up to this guy? We're scientists, not slug slingers. That's why we called you. Yeah, good point. I envision a world where the only slugs people use are my robo slugs. To that end, anyone found with a live slug will be punished. I don't have to listen to this madness. I'm not finished yet! Yeah, actually, I think you are. I was hoping we could reason this out, but you're kind of beyond reason, aren't you? I prefer to say that I'm beyond your understanding, Eli Shane. Oh, yes. I know who you are. Then you know how I work. I'm gonna give you one chance to do the right thing and apologize to all these people. Otherwise... Otherwise, we do all... That's right. Oh, this will be fun. That nasty thing right off your shoulder. I think you just insulted my slugs. Bad idea. Species, Infernus. Attack modes, flash fire, Infernus, Nova Claw. Downloading countermeasures to Roboslug Brain Matrix. <laughs> Before you began, I've downloaded databases on every slinger who's ever shot a slug. You, your friends, even your father, the great Will Shane. He'd have beaten you in a minute. Might take me too. <laughs> your father was a slug lover, just like you. 
Use that identical arachnid move in 17 different duels. Your attempt, however, has failed, and my robo slugs will continue to triumph over your weak, disgusting slugs and tired old tactics. Then I guess I'll have to show you some new tactics. Uh, what? Uh, no match found. What, what is he? Smart slug slinging will beat mad science every time, Quentin. It's over. Over? Ha! You won't believe what I'll bring when I come back. Um, you're still here. Huh? Ha! That's right! You slink away, scoundrel, while your batters... No, uh, while your batters look for lunch. We better get ready for this guy. I sure don't think he's gone for good. He's probably back at his secret lab. Get real, Cord. You've been watching too many fiction vids. Not all scientists have secret labs. The great Eli Shane and his wonderful slugs thinks he has all the answers. Well, wait till he sees what mad science can do. I'll show him big like he's never seen. Oh, there must be some food around here. I, I, okay. oh, hang on, quit. Ah! I bet he's got some kind of super doomsday weapon he's gonna spring on us. Ha! Let him bring his super weapon of doom. Once Pronto fills his mighty stomachs, he will be the match of any foe. Now, a more pressing problem. Did anyone bring a can opener? And my day just got worse. Oh, you have no idea how bad it's gonna get. Now! Take that thing down fast! Eli? Let me? Stay alive! Crawler slug, fireball defense. <laughs> Flopper slug. <laughs> no defense needed. Yeah. I had to try. He's gotta have a weak spot. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap shot, Trixie, but I don't have any weak spots. While you and your pathetic meatbag slugs are just one enormous weak spot! So, what now? Hate to say it, but... Retreat! <laughs> That's it! Run, slug lover! Run from my superior technology! You see? Not even Eli Shane can protect you from me! Well, that was humiliating. Nothing to be ashamed about. Quentin's got awesome tech, but that doesn't make him better. My hop rock couldn't even get near the guy. Hey, 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 uh, why are you beating that innocent rock there, Pronto? Perhaps I should pit this stubborn can against something harder, like your thick troll skull. Glad you made it away safely. But you aren't safe here with all that banging. Yeah. It's Quiet, Pronto. I've got a place nearby where we can regroup. Ooh, a secret lab, perhaps? Oh, please. Uh, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> 
All us scientists have secret labs. So what's the deal with Quentin? He really hates slugs. He doesn't just hate them. He's terrified of them. Really? That's good to know. Ever since the accident when we were kids. It was during a field trip to the slug biology department. Quentin always considered a locked door as a challenge. <laughs> he was in there for two days before they found him. <laughs> he was never the same since. And all his science has been about finding a way to live without slugs. Yeah, slugophobia. There's got to be an angle there. <laughs> ah, exasperating recalcitrant can! You frustrate me with your tenacious kin perimeter! Okay... Pronto, you're a genius! He is? I am? Oh, yes! Of course I am! I think I figured out a way to beat Quentin, but we're gonna need some high-tech help. I believe we have that covered. And even more importantly, we need you to buy us some time. I've got a few ideas in that regard. This is boring. What's the point of being superior if I can't lord it over everyone? Eli Shane! I'm ready for round three! Are you? He's busy right now. But I've got something for you. <laughs> ah! Again with the anti-grav! When are you gonna learn? That's nothing compared to me! Uh, I don't even have to waste a robo-slug on your pebble! As smart as you think you are, you still end up throwing rocks like a savage. Pitiful. Run, little savage. Run! You can't escape the superior man! And that's all you have to remember. But don't worry, Noodle. You're gonna do great. <laughs> I have my doubts that such a spineless slug can be our key to victory. Every slug is useful, Pronto. Even floppers. Tobias is down. I'm going in. Remember, just stall him. Don't try and be a hero. And don't get yourself hurt. Excellent advice. Ugh. Back to the drawing board! <laughs> What's wrong, Tobias? Nothing clever to say. I've got something to say. Oh, this, this will, will be fun. <laughs> That must be Kate. Don't ever get into a shouting match with her. Cord, you about done? Good to go. Saddle up, guys. Time to take this big brain bully to school. Shane Gang style. Let me go, Quentin! Your harpy's voice was even less pleasant at 400 decibels. Put her down, Quentin! <laughs> Mecha Mech is gonna kick your Mecha Mech's iron butt! Drop her easy and raise your hands, Quentin. Shut you down. <laughs> that thing! I've been perfecting this suit for years. How long did you spend cobbling that wreck together? Five minutes? Forty-five minutes, smart guy. It will take me less time than that to disassemble it. Critical systems intact. Barely. with the triple combo. I 
Fox attack. Infernus defense downloaded. Been there, done that. <laughs> Targeting. No! Oh, yeah! High five, Trixie! You know, the thing about slugs is you have to find them, train them, take care of them. Why do all that when you can simply manufacture an endless supply? Which is exactly what I have! Big first coming in, dodge right! No, go left! Uh, my right or, or your right? Oh, man! Don't worry, Trixie. Cord, you've got another arm. Use it! <laughs> Oh, man! Can I worry now? Just so you know, this plan has an 87% probability of ending in disaster. Eli's doing his part. We have to focus on ours. The only question remaining is how much longer I extend your suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little longer. <laughs> Gyros are burning out. This big baby's not gonna keep walking for long. Well, technically, this is called a death hop. <laughs> Losing control here. So am I. I have it. Complete control. Well, that's just embarrassing. I think I'll put you out of your misery. Try it! <laughs> Points for tenacity. Or is it just delusion? Either way, I want to look you in the eye when I break you in two. You thought we were building a robot to beat yours in 45 minutes? How dumb do you think we are? We were just building a can opener. And you were cocky enough to let me get close enough to do this. All yours, Noodle. <laughs> Flopper slug on me! <laughs> Showtime. Over here, smart guy, where it all began. Where it ends, for you anyway. Gonna draw? Blaster's empty. I used all my slugs to get this far. Come here. I want to look you in the eye when I beat you. <laughs> when you beat me with your non-existent blaster and your imaginary slugs? Just because my blaster's empty doesn't mean I'm out of slugs. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice work, guys. You didn't even have to transform. That was sweet, Eli. Glad this thing held together as long as it... <laughs> to say thank you oh that's a good start the magistrate's on his way i imagine you'll have volumes to say to him 
I know it's here. There must be an easier way to open a can of beans. She's all yours. Hey, you're not my lawyer. Figured that out pretty quick. I heard you were smart. And you know, Quentin, I can use a few smart men. <laughs> <laughs>